So thank you for having us. We came from um, a bunch of different places. I've got about a team of 40 across Canada. Um, so Troy came in from Toronto, Angie came in from Calgary, and I came in um, from Ottawa. And you know, typically we put together these big projects and go to fly in communities and uh, assemble the teams based on what would be a good fit for the different communities. Um, so I just want to give you, I've got about two hours with you, and I'm going to try to make, hopefully keep it very informative and also fun. So we want to have, there'll be some moments where we're going to get adults actually involved, um, doing, doing a little bit of dancing, doing a little bit of stomping. I wanted to introduce my team and let them say a little bit about themselves first. So we got Angie, B-Girl Lunacy from Calgary. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm actually from uh, Papa's Chase and Frog Lake First Nations in Alberta, currently live in Calgary. Um, I've been dancing since 2003 um, in hip hop and then I've been fancy shawl dancing since I was six years old, so about 27 years. Um, I currently tour with a tribe called Red, and if you've heard of yeah. those guys. <laughs> yeah, so um, I've been dancing for them for about uh, since May last year. And um, I teach in schools um, throughout Canada, First Nations communities, just sharing dancing through um, traditional and hip hop culture. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to be here this morning and dance with you guys. And yeah, I'll pass it to Troy. How you doing? Uh, my name is Troy. I'm from Toronto. I'm really happy to be up here. It's really nice to get away from the city for a bit and come out here and enjoy the fresh air that I've been experiencing since I've been here, which is really nice. Uh, I've been dancing since I was a kid. I grew up uh, as a b-boy and a drummer, and right when I finished high school, I joined the cast of Stomp. Have you guys heard of that show? Broadway show with the garbage cans and stuff, so I ended up performing with them full-time for about seven years, touring around the whole world, all over Africa, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, all over Europe, and in 2010, I kind of missed what I was doing back home when I was a lot younger, doing a lot of teaching and dancing and stuff. So I went back to Toronto in 2010 and started my own company called Rhythmworks. And we bring a show into schools and do workshops doing bucket drumming, body percussion, and all stuff around music, rhythm, and dance, and try to get kids thinking of really positive ways to deal with stress by using buckets and playing drums on the really loud sort of thing. And we've been in about 400 schools all over Ontario. I've been with Blueprint for, I think, just over three years now. Um, done a few community projects and did pretty much all of the prison work that we've done over the last three years. And it's all kind of the same message. We just use the arts and what we know to really connect with the young people and get them thinking about positive ways to deal with things. Uh, like Buddha said, we can probably hear a bit more of our personal stories later, but it was something that helped almost all the Blueprint team through hard stuff when we were young, is the arts and music and dance and working together. And what we try to do is kind of show that to the young people how easy it is to kind of listen to each other and work together when you do something fun and then relate that back into other things in their life. One, two, seven, eight. You clock. There we go, you got this baby. Okay, stop. Um, I love starting it with a whole bunch of adults from different um, yeah. fields yeah. that share the same big hearts mm -hmm. about wanting something better for the kids. Yeah. And also I think every, all of us recognizing that we got to do something because like there's some crazy, complicated, messy shit going yeah. on out there. Yeah. So I love that. And I always love to kind of impart my ideas and get feedback, yeah. you know, like are, yeah. are we a bunch of loose cannons or does this make <laughs> sense yeah. on, on what we're, we're doing on mm -hmm. trauma? I love having adults laugh and dance. Oh, yeah. So that was fun for me, literally, because I sit back and I go, well, that sounded like a bunch of kids laughing. And that was all you guys, right? So I love that part. And I'm not going to lie, this is, a, this is just like all the other kids that we meet in the communities. There's a lot of sometimes passive aggressive, sometimes, you know, yo, I just check out, I wander. You know, we have a bunch of kids that are the wanderers. We're used to that. Claps, here we go. Foot, foot. One, two, three, hey. One, two, three, hey. Put in the class, here we go. Okay, rewind. 
one, you're brave? <laughs> Back to here. It's gonna go. Clap, clap, push, 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 But it runs better, actually, when we have, obviously, yeah. you know, we're going to move through day one, day two, day three, day four, yeah. day five, and we have a full blueprint team. Right. So it, then it's kind of like, because then we can strategize, right? It was nice to see everybody was engaged and enjoying themselves. Um, I really liked that the kids were, well, they didn't seem shy, actually. Oh, for good. The most part. good. Yeah, yeah. It was just yeah. like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so, great. Um, yeah, it was wonderful. This is the school for the week. Yeah. And this is an expectation in school. I mean, you shouldn't just be drifting yeah. all the time in and around in school. Yeah. If it's math class, it's math class. Yeah. Like, suck it up. That's what life's like, right? Yeah. yeah. So, but that is easier when you have a bigger group because then the shy cast can blend in the bigger group. Yeah. 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 Today we were doing a one-day program, and so we were doing the best we could on short yeah. time limits. Yeah. But if we have five days in a place, then that really slowly turns into everybody joining yeah. in. It becomes right. cool to join in and cool to do yeah. what's going on as opposed to cool to stay off to the sides. Right, and everybody kind of finds their comfort zone just with what you're doing and also with themselves, right? Yeah, we try to encourage that. I always encourage that when I teach is that you don't need to look exactly like the way I do it or the way Ange does it. Right. You put your own style into it and that's what makes dancing and that's what makes hip-hop and that's what makes the world interesting, that everyone yeah. does everything a little bit different. Yeah. But it's still the same thing as long as you're trying something new. Yeah. And then if you really like it and it connects with you, then you can practice every day and then you get really good. For most of the blueprint projects, um, everybody is participating right. and everybody is doing everything. Okay. So today was just a little bit different because we only had one day. It was kind yeah. of like a yeah. flash of activities. So yeah. I think it was more flexible in that people could, can do that. and. Yeah. Uh, if they're not comfortable or if they're comfortable, they can try things. But it was nice to see the kids, if they weren't comfortable, they would still stick around and they would yeah. watch. Yeah. And they were quiet and supportive and clapping for the ones participating. So I thought that was awesome. Yeah. I was yeah. surprised at how well the kids seemed to respond to some of the storytelling. Yeah. You know, yeah. in a nice, respectful way. But yeah. then, the, you know, the focus is on yeah. someone else, not on them. Yeah. But, you know, I can always see the water behind yeah. people's eyes yeah. and stuff, too, when... Yeah. when mm -hmm. That's why our personal stories are often really powerful yeah. with them because mm -hmm. they're like, yeah, yeah, I know what that feels like. Yeah. You know? That's teenage angst. Oh, my In God. the best of situations yeah. anyways, it's like, <laughs> oh am I gothic? <laughs> am I a skateboarder? Like, yeah. well, what am I, yeah. right? Am, am I? You know, am I, how much yeah. is of my traditional culture yeah. can I openly celebrate? You know, like all, all kinds of things. Yeah. And then you put on that, you know, yeah sexual orientation and hormones oh and, my gosh. you know. Yeah. And the guy across the room is somebody you like or the girl across the room is somebody And then you, like you put on that, the social media <laughs> drama, right? right? And all this, like, we got so yeah. many layers of complication. Yeah. Yeah. And in some ways, I kind of like just taking their head spaces away just, from all that. Yeah. Yeah. Away from all the drama. So as an example, you know, we would never allow f phones. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, but I do believe that the journey Mm -hmm. of doing that yeah. on many levels, on the organizational level, on the partner yeah. levels, on the learning levels, on yeah. the laughter levels, on the I felt safe for the first week of my life level, well, yeah. like whatever all that is, yeah. that's got huge value. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be back to run, a, run our week-long project or, yeah. it, and also we learn things about engaging every single time. Yeah. So today I'm just taking away, you know, I observed how everything worked here yeah. and, if, and it gains more knowledge to figure out ways to get people to off get the wall and, in and get them engaged and Perfect. keep them engaged. Yeah. Oh yeah, also I teach an adult 30 plus class, it's an adult only class, so there's a lot of like moms, dads, aunties, uncles, grandparents Fantastic. that love hip hop and get to learn a huge vocabulary in different styles. So yeah, it's for everybody, it doesn't matter your age or anything like that. No, it is a, a youth culture created by yeah. youth, but 
doesn't discriminate. Like everybody yeah. is welcome to participate in hip hop. So it's really cool about it. <laughs> well. Yeah, I, I really value doing this. I'm very honored and, and thankful I can do this. So I just remember that I'm here to just be myself and I love what I do and I think that energy transfers to other people. So I think I know I'm just here to be, um, I always think of it as like a changer of atmosphere. Like when I come in and dance and just spread positive vibes, like that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. And so I just never want to take it for granted and keep doing that. It's super, I don't know, it's simple to me like that, like what my job is. I take, I take away from the experience, I always try to be present when I'm here, mm -hmm. and I take away from the experience that I get to meet lovely yeah. souls like yourself and Brian mm -hmm. and stuff. I feel like that honest, open, creative feedback loop yeah. pays it forward because it just means better work. Yeah. You know, and, and you pay it forward by planting little seeds. Yeah, that's <laughs> right? right. That's right. Little, little seeds of ideas and little seeds of hope. Yeah. I think I'm definitely going to take just, just the, good, the good spirit, the smiles, good. the good conversation, the laughs, and good. pass that on. I'm always learning uh, all the time how to be a better educator and teacher and what works and what doesn't work. So the experience for me, definitely taking back to Calgary and um, thinking about how I was teaching or ex yeah. exactly again like what worked what didn't work and um, what I could do better next time and hopefully come back again yes. to Sioux Lookout and um, yeah it was wonderful meeting the kids yeah they were super friendly and off the bat coming and talking that was really nice uh, I wish I could have got to know them more yes Matters of the heart, like my own family, matters a lot to me. What matters to me in my heart is trying to be honest and a man of integrity and a man of of vulnerability yeah. and a yeah. man of of love yeah. that um, that shares and models that. Yeah. So my matter of the heart is also related to trying to show new models of masculinity. Yeah. Which also just makes me, matter of the heart, reflect that um, forever a student. Yes. Right? Yes. Always yeah. learning, always, always learning. healing, always yeah. trying to move it forward. What matters to me, to the heart, mm -hmm. I think it's just completely being able to connect with other people and being able to engage in a conversation and listen and being interested. For me, I like, am very curious of other people and I like asking a ton of questions and learning about people and learning what makes, what blows their hair back, what gets yeah. them going and figuring that out and then therefore sharing it with what I can do and kind of really getting to know all the little pockets of personalities everywhere we get to go. Yeah. Well, I'm really proud to be First Nations, I'm really proud to be an Indigenous woman and um, represent in both cultures and hip hop and in my own culture as well. So um, I just think my job is to do that and spread knowledge wherever I'm sent to and I've been sent to a lot of places. Um, now I'm touring with a tribe called Red so um, I'm doing it in a different way on stage showcasing how beautiful our, our culture is so I think that's super important to me is um, indigenous education, uh, going to schools. Not only do I do this but I like going to schools and um, sharing my story and my family story about residential schools. I think that's really important. Yeah. And um, I just believe that's part of my purpose. Yeah. Um, it's just breaking stereotypes and yeah. showing how beautiful we are as Indigenous people. Yeah, yeah. because uh, most people in Canada, they don't know that. And I see a lot of uh, hateful, hateful uh, racist comments and things all over the internet. and. It's, it's hurtful, but I just don't let that bring me down and keep doing what I'm doing and like, yeah, just uh, promoting 
how dope it is to be First Nations. Exactly. And, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's it's important for other kids to see that too. Check it out. Sue, look out. You got your own OGs, man. You just got to find them, interview them, ask them some questions because hip-hop been around forever. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>